Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorials and we are doing daily MCQ at 7.30 p.m. So today's MCQ, we will uh, we will do 150 MCQs today and let's see uh, your scores. You can write down your score in comment box. So uh, one more announcement, as you know, we have prepared notes. Uh, notes available for history of English literature. Uh, from Chaucer to modern age and literary terms these two notes are there now uh, available so you can contact on whatsapp number if you wish to get these notes so let's start today's uh, session so first question for you is according to Bacon the chief use of study is ability ornament delight or adornment so your answer is to delight next question for you to beckon to spend too much time in studies is beckon ne kya kaha ki hume studies ke saath jyada time bitana chahiye kis liye bitana chahiye because of affection uh, affectation studious or it is sloth next question for abilities which are natural is like natural plants that need. Your options are here. Pruning by study, sunlight, air or water. So your answer is pruning by study. According to Bacon, who condemns studies? Con study ko condemn karta hai? Crafty man, simple man, wise man or ready man? So your answer is crafty man. Maketh a full man. Speaking, reading or writing or listening. Konsi aise cheez hai jo ek insaan ko pura banati hai? Your answer is reading. So reading maketh a full man. Next, history makes man wise. Poets witty, mathematics subtle. और नेचुरल फिलॉसफी नेचुरल फिलॉसफी क्या करती है इंसान को क्या बनाती है तो आपके जो ऑप्शंस हैं शैलो डीप इंटेंस और लो सो योर आंसर इज डीप द एक्सरसाइज बाउलिंग इज गुड फॉर एंड रेंज जो एक्सरसाइज बाउलिंग की जो एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज होती है वो किस चीज के लिए सही है रॉक सैंड स्टोन और नन ऑफ द अबव so your answer is stone. A man who studies a lot is temperamentally active, inactive, smart or lazy. Your answer is lazy. Next question. Studies develop the man's natural ability, inability, value or none of these. Answer is ability. Different kinds of dash have different effects upon the reader. Books, compact dishes, equipments or none of these. So your answer is books. Experience is essential to add to the value of land, gold, building or studies. So your answer is studies. The study of logic and rhetoric development develop a man's muscles, intelligence, debating power, none of these. So 12, your answer is debating power. Planning and management of affair are expected only from persons who seldom reads, who debate often, who reads a lot, none of the above. Your answer is who reads a lot. Who reads a lot. Some books are to be tested. Bahut achhi quotation hai. Some books are to be tested, swallowed and some few to be chewed and spitted, vomited, digested. Kaun sa in se option hai aapka? So your answer is to be digested. 
Next, one should not read books merely to contradict, contradict others, but to just the cost of the book, just the number of uh, pages in the book, just the value of the material the book contains, or just the time taken to make us sleepy. So what is your answer? Just the value of the material. So you will write down this answer. Just the value of the material the book contains. Simple men admire studies and wise men them. Use them, misuse them, lecture them or none of the above. So your answer is use them. Bacon's style is known for pathos, humor, paradox or aphorism. So it is aphoristic style means uh, if you don't know what is aphorism or aphoristic it is means witty sentences will be there according to Bacon what maketh an exact man so what makes an an exact man uh, sleeping eating chanting chatting or reading so your exact man all right the so uh, the answer will be writing makes an exact man. Actually, there is no option and reading is there. So option is uh, wrong there. So because reading makes a full man. All right. And uh, writing makes an exact man. This is the answer. Bacon suggests that if a man's wit be wandering, let him study mathematics, history, philosophy or logic. कहने का मतलब है कि बैकन ने क्या सजेस्ट किया अगर कोई बहुत चंचल है तो उसे क्या पढ़ना चाहिए इट इज मैथमेटिक्स ही सजेस्टेड टू स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू बैकन व्हाट मेक्स वाइज मैन वाइज मैन किससे बनता है इंसान फिजिक्स से मैथमेटिक्स से फिलॉसफी से और हिस्ट्री से सो योर आंसर इज हिस्ट्री इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी वाइज मैन स्टडी हिस्ट्री अकॉर्डिंग टू बैकिन Gentle walking is good for what? <clears throat> Options are eyes, stomach, brain or lungs. So your answer is stomach. According to Bacon, philosophy makes a man wise, witty, subtle or grave. Your answer is grave. It can be deep as well. Bacon suggests that the general councils come best from those that are general jo councils hote hain wo kaun sabse best honge experienced professionals learned businessmen your answer is learned to use studies too much for ornament is affection affectation adornment or none so your answer is affectation to beckon, one must read to weigh and consider, contradict and confuse, talk and discuss, take for granted. So your answer is weigh and consider. Who is Elia? Yahan par Elia kaun hai? Charles Lamb, George Dyer, Mary Lamb or Kalak? Charles Lamb. We know that Charles Lamb's पेन नेम इज इलिया चौस लैम का जो पेन नेम होता है वो है आपका इलिया हु वॉज द चाइल्ड ऑफ लंडन चाइल्ड ऑफ लंडन कौन है जॉर्ज डायर चार्ल्स लैम डॉक्टर जॉनसन ईवी लुकास आंसर इज चार्ल्स लैम ही स्पेंट दीज इयर्स Number of uh, these years working as a clerk in the East India House. East India House में काम किया था. 43, 23, 33 और 13. 28. Answer is 33. Lamb was renowned for his warm sense of tragedy, wits, irony or humor. So your answer is humor. So Charles Lamb is renowned for humor in 1807 charles lamb and mary ann lamb was published tale from shakespeare tale from bible 
tail of two cities or tail of canterbury answer is tail from shakespeare 1807 next is charles lamb died in charles lamb ki jo mrityu hui thi kab hui thi 33 34 35 or 36 your answer is 34 essays of elia was published in 03 13 23 or 1823 both are same so what is your answer 1823 so both will be the answer oxford in the vacation was first published in the london magazine in july 1860 august 1860 september 1860 or october 1860 so it was october 1860 means my uh, this is my birthday month oxford in the vacation is written by one who never was at as a student oxford cambridge kingston new knowledge new college so your answer is oxford lamb used to spend his annual holidays in the and other part of the oxford ground library dining hall or campus your answer is library lamb used to write under the pen name of we just uh, did this Alia, Charles N. Elia or Dia. The Charles Lamb ka pen name tha, wo tha apka Elia. Elia tried to amuse the reader with an account of a clerks working in the East Sea House, North Sea House, South House or West Sea House. Your answer is South Sea House. South Sea House. Elia used to look forward for holidays to spend time in sleeping, chatting, surfing net or reading books. Answer is reading books. Feels as if he inhaling learning while them while in them land dia some manuals merry. 39 Your answer is Lamb. Dyer was busy with ancient, modern, postmodern, or new. Your answer is ancient. Who himself looked like an old book, badly needing a new cover. Charles Lamb, George Dyer, George Eliot, or G. V. Shaw. so your answer is george eliot next dyer doing research concerning uh concerning the past of two universities civil geography history or record answer is history lamb cares more for oxford and cambridge than he does for fashionable resorts as new york northampton sussex or bath so your answer is bath whose picture was hung in the uneasy posture st peter st thomas st matthew st paul your answer is st peter where it seems as though all the souls of all the writers in oxford in old library in new library in oxford campus in old library what is quiz scopes it what is quiz scopes it who was engraver who was the painter who was the singer who was the writer who was the engraver
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज फिफ्टी थ्री प्रिस्ली इज ग्रेटली इन डिमांड एज अ लेक्चर ट्रू फॉल्स नॉट मच और लास्ट वन इज नन सो योर आंसर इज फॉल्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्रिस्ली इज बेसिकली अ गुड सिंगर लेक्चर डांसर और राइटर Your answer is a writer. If Priestley is given a pile of sheets, a fountain pen, or typewriter, he will do his worst, best, will not care, none. Your answer is best. According to the priestly to err is human to refuse forgive forget or none is divine so your answer will be to refuse is according to priestly all right so remember this according to priestly refuses to divine according to priestly a successful lecturer takes a delight in his voice audience mannerism or dress so your answer is voice when he gives a lecture priestly the town the hall the audience the himself adores loves despises or likes your answer is despises what does priestly say about his audience dreary people malicious people snarling pedants all of the above your answer is all of the above if priestly went on an american tour there would be men waiting with outside the hall garland cash prize guns or none your answer is guns next when priestly writes he feels that he is addressing a company of persons bored persons pleasant persons pedants or none your answer is pleasant person priestly has probably dash a hundred readers every time he gives a lecture gained lost added or none your answer is lost just as the young dash falls into an ecstasy at the sound of flagons the successful lecturers thrills with the pleasure of his voice magentua tagentua grantua or none your answer is gra gargantua according to priestly what is more foolish then going to hear a lecture we just did it earlier too so you must know the answer giving a lecture this is repeatedly repeated question priestly is writer from where american african british or an indian so he is a british priestly is dash about lectures senseless sensible eager or none of these so your answer is sensible let me mark it sensible next what does priestly say about authors who give lectures fools idiots successful men none of the above so he tells them fools how does priestly state his own performance as a lecturer 
make proud of himself and are make fool of himself and are make glory of himself and are or none of the above your answer is make fool of himself and are what are the priestly's thoughts about the audience he faces malicious people very pleasant and sensible people dear and gentle audience none of the above your answer is malicious people how does priestly contrast the successful lectures lecturer from the bad one the successful lecturer bless with happiness thrills with pleasure harmony in delight none of the above your answer is thrills with pleasure what does priestly imagine when the lecture he has promised to give seems nearer he took bright at nothing and his style wobbles his confidence is to take the audience at a street he mesmerizes them with his voice and his style dictates none of the above he looks bright at nothing and his style right and his style wobbles next one gargantua refers to a princess monster gigantic or plucky girl gargantua means gigantic priestly feels as dash if people are not interested in the in, in his lecture happy as he can a success an insult none of these an insult so it will be an insult next one priestly has probably lost dash reader in a lecture and gain a 20 100 dozen handful handful of or none of the above answer is 100 priestly never wished to give an impression as demanding reader writer lecturer or none of the above your answer is lecturer how does priestly conclude his essay to err is human to forgive is divine to err is human to refuse divine or to err is lecturer to forgive audience or none of the above answer is b to refuse divine priestly dash gave to give lectures usually refuse usually fervent usually entreat none of the above usually refuse a bad lecturer communicates his dash for business taste distaste folly none of the above your answer is this taste jb priestly fully refers as fully refers as jack book priestly james boynton priestly john boynton priestly jefferson bavington priestly your answer is john boynton priestly C The Times is one of the American leading newspaper one of the Indian leading leading newspaper one of the leading British newspaper favorite TV show It is one of the leading British newspaper A heavy shower of letters came for the mistakes made by famous poets novelist prose writers or actors so here is your question your answer is novelist the poet confesses that before writing an article consult 
dash to make sure on errors encyclopedia dictionary facebook or wiki 85 the answer the obvious answer would be encyclopedia boars thrive because of people's astuteness eccentricity cunningness or cowardice your answer is cowardice ev lucas often contributed articles to a journal called tatler specter spectator punch or the hindu your answer is the punch the essay boars is taken from the collection titled listeners lure cricket all his life events and embroideries all of the above events and embroideries next is boars are always known for their cowardice indolence egotism or ingenuousness your answer is egotism the one who has a fixed idea to impart is called flatterer philanthrope idiosyncratic or a bore your answer is bore a true bore is one who is always unconscious of his foolishness boorishness prudishness or none of the above so your answer is boorishness according to lucas according to lucas dash people are seldom bores busy simple kind or poor busy the saying live and let live is attributed to the writer chiller imant aminal kant william henley father newman your answer is chiller the most repellent specimen of all the boars is called a dash boar blissful eccentric button holding or nocturnous answer is button holding boars thrive because of people's astuteness or eccentricity cunningness or cowardice we just did it so the answer is cowardice next one the essay boars is taken from the collection titled listener listeners lure cricket all his life event and embroiders all of the above so your answer is events and embroiders a true bore is one who is always unconscious of his foolishness boorishness prudishness or silliness we have already done this one boorishness next bores come out successful in life because they find a number of ready dash listeners speakers preachers or lectures answer is listeners no one is courageous enough to tell the bores that their company is friendly tedious familiar gifted answer is tedious next button holding bore is the man who spreads dash all over you rejoices sticky burlim aroma your answer is bird lime lucas father used to say do or die fair is foul fair is foul to be or not to be live and let live so your answer is let and let live 
the only way to get rid of a bore is to tell him frankly that he is a nuisance, good companion, fellow traveler or savior. Your answer is nuisance. Dash cannot be shaken off just by gestures or indirect hints. A preacher, Bors, Lucas, a fellow traveler. So your answer is Bors. Unless these weekly papers stop publication, Bors are bound to fade, demolish, flourish or cherish. Your answer is flourish. A few men are strong enough to say, for heaven's sake, go away. You dash me, cheat me, love me, trust me, or weary me. So your answer is weary. Let me mark it. Weary me. In 1889, Lucas joined the staff of Sex Daily, Sussex Daily News, Punch, or Messian. Your answer is Sussex Daily News. Is a word used by Gleadites as a test to detect, detect the fleeing Aphraimites? Bores? Shipolith, button holding, stigma. Your answer is Shipolith. The word axle tree means rod, stick, coat, or carries. So your answer is rod. Next one, before the First World War, Lucas was for a while interested in the theater, prose, poetry or fiction. So it is theater. It requires a sense of superiority, assurance and dash to write about bores at all, selfishness, selflessness, self-motive. Self confident or selfishness. So your answer is self confident. Is a bore's foundation stone socialism, humor, idealism, egoism? Your answer is egoism. Egoism. To lint, the only fatal error in a writer is to be accurate, uninteresting, interesting or none. Your answer is uninteresting. Dr. Johnson endeared himself to posterity by his dash in his dictionary, blunders, Interesting details, accurate definitions, or none. So your answer is blunders. To lint, all comedy arises from other people's mistakes, jokes, mistakes, foolishness, and none. Your answer is mistakes. The inaccuracies of the historians dash have been laughed at Dryden, Aristotle, Fraud or Plato. So your answer is proud. According to Lint, the poet uses the word chrysoberyl for the sense, sound, precious stones or none. So your answer is sound.
what according to Lin is chief value of error make us makes the readers superior confuses the reader makes the reader laugh or none your answer is makes the reader superior next according to Lin there has been a heavy shower of letters in dash about the mistakes made by famous novelist the times the morning star the saturday review or none your answer is the times why does lynn awakes out of dream at night and breaks into a sweat of fear bad dreams is anxious if he had made a mistake suffers from sleeplessness or none so it is anxious is is anxious if he had made a mistake blundered in chronology and geography so hazlitt milton shakespeare or scott shakespeare the true uh, true error hunter is a man who searches for error as men search for iron gold diamond or copper so your answer is gold according to len in the history of the world the man who makes mistakes has never been rewarded censured appreciated or none your answer is appreciated robert lin remarks as one grows older no doubt one cares less for the rare kind of jewelry in article prose drama or poetry your answer is poetry robert lin remarks as one grows older okay we have done this one the truth is the only fatal error in a writer is to be careless truthless fictionless uninteresting so your answer is uninteresting all dash probably arises all dash probably arises from our enjoyment of other people's mistakes tragedy praise comedy or none of the above so your answer is comedy novelists need not to be dash by being accused of blundering perturbed relaxed praised none of the above answer is perturbed robert lane poets points out that the newspapers are full of accurate articles and correct information dash gives pleasure seldom occasionally obviously none of the above seldom to a not only makes human but also clever intelligent wise or silly your answer is wise a true error hunter is a man who searches for errors as men searches for we just did this question gold robert lin also gratifies his reader 
by misquoting the poet confusing diaries to jerexes mentioning towns in wrong countries all of the above so here your option is all of the above the journalist quotes the beginning of an article by punch here let me set it okay the journalist quotes the beginning of an article by punch all is well that ends well the journey of a thousand miles starts in a single step the sting uh, of the serpent is in its tail and all of the above so your answer is the sting of the serpent is in its tail a great many words that mean nothing to ordinary reader and yet reads with an irritation and ignorance a pleasure or disinterest what is the answer a pleasure robert lin proclaims that every writer concede a margin of error but reader is more particular on the information of the character author facts all of the above answer is character ornithologist is a person who studies birds skin brain or insects your answer is birds robert lind so here the your answer is birds and next one is robert lind was born in britain scotland ireland or europe your answer is ireland alpha of the plow is called robert lind francis bacon easy gardener or jb presley so we know the correct answer is easy gardener Easy Gardner's fellow traveler was a bird, man, dog, or mosquito. Now, cell phone is taking too much time to give me this pen to mark. All right. So next one, Easy Gardner accused his fellow traveler as a vagrant, a public nuisance, traveling without a ticket. all of the above so your answer is all of the above and who was that it was a mosquito easy gardener traveled in a bicycle train bus or none so your answer is a uh, train Easy Gardner and his fellow traveler knew about each other's journey true false to some extent or none so your answer is false next name the writers who continually misquoted the poet they loved pope and dryden bacon and lamb hazlitt and swift lamb and hazlitt lamb and hazlitt easy gardener's fellow traveler was a mosquito according to presley to err is human and to refuse is divine gardener feels that he is interested so 44 uh, in insulted sorry pleased entertained or worried so answers are here has interested in his fellow travelers and in return he has 
entertain him next one how does gardiner describe his sense of freedom pleasant uneasy boring or none of the above so your answer is pleasant how does gardiner describe the sense of freedom okay we have done this one when one is alone in the carriage what can he do sing and dance open and close window play golf and even stand on head or all of the above so the suggestions are here all of the above that's funny how did the author responded to the behavior of his fellow traveler kissed him flicked him off played with him danced and sung with him so next one is the answer flicked him off second last how many times the author wants his fellow traveler dozen of time a score of time twice and often so your answer is twice and the last 51 garner refers his fellow traveler as genus almighty vagrant or all of the above so it was vagrant vagrant is the answer there are a lot but can we go ahead yeah we can okay let's do two more after attacking his fellow traveler with a blow what did the author do learned of jumped on the seat adopted tactics of felling cunning all of the above so 151 is all of the above okay now cell phone doesn't allow me to record more thank you for being with me uh, see you tomorrow at 7:30 sharp